chapter 8 Belly of the Beast. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What? Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Commanding said, shut up, uncertain. Caitlin, what do I do? Um, I don't think she would have just straight up murdered Kaylee. So, I mean, Caitlin, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, Caitlin, what do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said, shut up. <laughs> oh, no way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. Hold up. Wait a minute. My mic was out of place. And, uh, Unconvinced, all this over a poem. Curious, you said you heard a woman. I am kind of curious about that because I'm pretty sure Ryan oh, heard the same woman at you said some you point. Heard a woman crying when you escaped. Why? What do you know? I heard it too. Honest, the hag of Hackett's Quarry guarded nothing, just a podcast. Go honest. Just reminds me of a local story I know. The hag of Hackett's quarry. A woman in the woods. They say that she died years ago. And now she sort of roams the darkness waiting for her lost boy. These guys hate it when I talk about it. You've seen her. No. I don't know. But I heard this thing back at the police station. A, a podcast. The Zarya Bonafide? Yeah, that's it. It looks like Travis was keeping an eye on it. Why? Maybe it's more than a story. Mm. All I can tell you for sure is that whatever's happening at Hackett's Quarry runs deeper than you know. I'm just gonna go right ahead and take that back from you there. Yeah, I know Ryan is trying to be this like so, leader dude now, but he wasn't that this entire time. So I'm not gonna, you know. When he's not at camp, I mean. Act like he's this big bad dude now. Uh, mean, I wouldn't tell you, guarded, what makes you think I know? And I'm kind of surprised you don't know, Ryan. You'd be all up on his ass. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. Just help her out. I believe her. I She's think that spooky house behind seen this, the woods. all this stuff firsthand. Dude! What? Sarcastic. Have you thought about not killing him? Compassionate. Maybe there's another way. Uh, I feel like if there's another way, they would have figured it out already. So I'm going to go sarcastic. Have you thought about, you know, not killing him? I'm thinking about not killing you. What? Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. <laughs> yes, I got my okay, theory about Nick. I'm gonna spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh... Yeah, what they said. Friendly, Chris has nothing to do with this aggressive. No way you're going alone. Uh, go aggressive here because he obviously has something to do with that. There's no way I'm letting a murdering fugitive like you go anywhere near Chris on your own. Wow, are you flirting with me? What? No. That man look embarrassed. <laughs> do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Bro, she's not lying. Everything's gonna be fine. No, it's not. Our cop car you stole. Where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. Ooh. How long do you have? No. Or two, I don't know. Emma's in the minivan. Exact science. Then we better get going. Oh, brother. I think the biggest question beyond like what the hag has to do with any of this is what the hunters got going on. Are you sure this is the right way? Obviously, they trapped Nick. Sure? 
Yeah. Or not Nick. Or trap Jacob. And I'm pretty sure they also trapped the Nick guide? because they said that they got two of them so far. At first, I thought that maybe that um, werewolf that they had in the cage might have been the first infected. But uh, after the hunter said that they got two of them, I'm assuming that's Nick in there. Which kind of leads me back to the idea that Chris actually might be the very first one. And I know I said before, it looks like the hunters were trying to help us out. But at this point, they've captured what I think to be Nick and obviously Jacob. And as of now, I don't know why they're just trying to capture all of us right now. So if there comes a situation and they try to get another one of the counselors, I might just have to kill them. Unless I learn some other type of information, but I'm not gonna let them just go Pokemon on us, just catch them all. Anyway, back to the story. Uh, suspicious, this doesn't feel right. Inquisitive, have you been there? Let's be suspicious. This doesn't feel right. I think you're up to something. I'm not. You better not just be running out the clock. I'm not. I don't think Ryan would do that. At least I hope not. The longer we're out here, the longer we're in danger. Said the murderer. So it might be a oh, lot man. more pleasant if you lighten up a little. What is wrong with you? Sincere, I had a fucked up summer defensive, not gonna apologize. Um, I mean, yeah, we lost an eye. It hasn't, fucked up summer. hasn't been a great yeah. summer. Doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. There it is again. Well, what's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I, you're still alive, I guess. Nobody else needs to get hurt. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. No offense. I'm nah. not doing this for revenge. Gotta get it back in blood. I need to save Max. You're doing Brr. Brr. this shit from you. Brr. Get it back in blood. Brr. Brr. For a boy? What am I supposed to do? Just leave him like this? I owe it to him. Like I said. Kind of a fucked up summer. Yeah, she was the reason he got bit. There it is. Back your house. So what he the? lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been oh, there. Oh, is that lady his mom? If you're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. Mm. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. What would be the point of walking out here? What? Confession, I get it. He's your friend, angry. Whose side are you on? We need to kind of get him more onto our side. He's he's a little, he's straying from the path a little bit. Let's go compassionate. I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. You do not know that. Obviously, he's not. Brian, just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now. Everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on a timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. Oh, no, we're gonna fall. You. Careful, it's gonna go. Why were they standing up for so long? It was <laughs> cracking for like five seconds. Oh shit! Are you okay? Laura? Ooh, the water is messing with her. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. It healed up. She's run out of time. Their eye color changed too. What are you doing? Relax. Look. Ooh. Dang, it heals like that. Glad you have grandma. No shit. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Uh, yellow. Yes. 
We haven't got much time. It's gonna move on then. But first, I need to find a tarot card. You're not a tarot card. Old mining tools. These must have been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years. Ryan, I mean, you might as well pick up one of those rather than just standing there empty handed. Eyes peeled. Silence! Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag. The pack gets quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. Maybe. I mean, it's not like we have anywhere else we can go. Bro, get out of my way. Oh, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. <laughs> Careful. Jeez. It's over here. Can't go that way. Okay. All right, Ryan. My bad. Let's go. Just look at this place. Uh-oh. We got a bad step. Ready for that quick time event. I'm ready. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I thought we had a little something go right there. <laughs> I could really do with a hamburger right about now. Stop being weird. I do like that Laura's kind of, you know, keeping the, the mood light, though. Maybe that kind of attitude will bring uh, Ryan around. Whoa. I know the card's got to be here somewhere. Wait, what was that? Do you think... Scarred flesh. ...something is in here with us? Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. Hmm. Definitely need to find more evidence, because, uh... We have a couple things, but... I want to make sure we're as protected as possible oh, for when the cops come. If they come. What's this right here? Well, cave in, do not enter. Out. <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. There you go, Ryan. See? Just talking about it. Come on, Ryan. Lighten up a little bit, man. The world's not ending. So not yet, anyway. What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? Inquisitive, what box would that be? Patient, you know, that's not what I meant. You know, let's be inquisitive. And what box would that be? Nothing, forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow. Charming. I am assuming you're single. Yeah. Why? No reason. What? She want me. She want me. Hold up, man. This way. I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just... Hang out here. Up to you. Ooh. 
I don't know. Max might be in trouble. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a little, a little, a little chemistry going on there. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? There it is. Wheel of Fortune. Where my man Bob Barker at? Looks promising. All right. Where are we now? I'm assuming this is just under the uh, the mansion, or it's a tunnel, maybe uh, leading to uh, Chris Hackett's house. What's this? Careful, splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. No prohibition. These are run running tunnels. Mm. They're almost 100 years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the Hackets were bootleggers. That makes sense. I guess when the quarry shut down, they branched out. Come on. Time travel later. Okay, so this whole thing really runs deep. Uh, you think this is it? Uh, beach me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? I'm gonna guess that the hag is uh, potentially a hack it herself. Audio, thank you. Uh, what happened here? Eh, it's complicated. Gosh, I used to think this place was so cozy. This place, really? Yeah, it reminded me of a ski lodge. Sounds cold. <laughs> but you've never fantasized about being trapped on a remote ski resort in a snowstorm? The cable car is broken and you've only got each other for warmth. And when the food runs out, you've only got each other. It's a weird fantasy. <laughs> optimistic. Maybe it'll come true. Defense is no weirder than this. Let's be optimistic. A ski vacation does sound pretty nice right about now, though, huh? You're keeping the spirits up. <laughs> Don't know the first thing about it. A couple trips down the bunny slope, you'll get the hang of it. Oh, well, then, we better get this van up and running, then, huh? Oh, brother. Emma's about to be turned in there. Oh, brother. <laughs> Is there, is there something in there? I don't know. Do you use that flashlight on that gun there? What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they? Should I open it up? No, You're do not. Buddy. Don't do it. I'm not opening it up. You're crazy. Why didn't he give me the option to... Should have gave me the option to keep it close. Run, help. Help him out. Get off him. Let's go, man. This car ain't moving without that rotor arm. Headshot. Bow! I need to be a little quicker with the shots. Run! Can we run? Or are we just gonna shoot it 80 times? Oh no, it's ran away. That works too.
Couldn't just leave my man. He would have been dead, surely. Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. <laughs> so you can fix it. Well, no promises. Okay, so there's hope. Not only we're gonna find it. Let me, let me get this straight. <laughs> Caitlin is a master like marksman, a medic, got something better and now a mechanic. Not die. Yeah, I'd like. We that. definitely can't let I her die. Out of here. She got more jobs than Johnny Sins. <laughs> like, to make sense doesn't mean that I'm totally into it. Jeez, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Oh, this is connected to where, um, Jacob and, uh, and the uh, other werewolf is with the hunters and stuff. Okay. What was that? Oh. What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. Ooh, man. Keep it down. That mean I was right then. You keep it down. So this the lady was. Uh. Chris Hackett's mom, I think. All right. Sweet. Come on. <laughs> I said it before and I'm sticking to it. Travis. Oh, another tarot card. If uh, Travis. Hold on. Jeez. Poor kid. Head this big. Bobby. Who's Bobby? Should be evidence, man. Um, what was I saying? Dang, keep getting these cutscenes. What's that? Careful. Oh, yeah, let's not make any noise here. Travis gets in our way again. I'm putting him down. I'm sorry. Because I have a feeling that I know he's gonna protect his family, so. Jacob, you better not make a single sound. I swear. Jacob. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? Open the cage? His cage? Yeah, open it up. Ryan, don't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. I forgot. Oh! Jeez, man, what are you doing to him down there? Well, that's nothing. We're just keeping him safe, just like we've been trying to do all damn night. Keeping him safe? What, what was that? Fucking hilarious. Shut up. Keeping him safe? I don't believe her. You gotta get me out of here, man. How? Seriously. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. I don't know if I believe her. Ma. Uh. <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. Boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. And they're about to be vengeful. No. God damn. No. No, no. No, no. Not my granddaughter. 
Not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Oh, yeah, she's crazy. Kaylee. You goddamn piece of shit. Not my little Kaylee. God damn you. What did you do to her? Nothing. It wasn't even him. Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? Stop Laura from doing what? What is she doing? I didn't know what she was doing. Stop her from doing what? Laura. What have you done? I didn't know. That's Nick. What is? Stop her from what? Oh, y'all gotta tell me what the fuck. Bro! Send Bobby down! Come on, man! I wonder if I can fix that. That's not fair! That's not fair! It didn't tell me what to stop her. I thought she was turning off the electrical fuse box. That's not even my fault. What is this? What am I looking at? Okay, what was that ominous, like, <laughs> pan out? What was that? Wow. Of course, the chapter ends right there, too. Did you miss me? No! And maybe a little. Hopefully, you bought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. The Emperor. Authority, paternity, stricter, designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. <laughs> Details. See more. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. Hmm. So if I had to guess, I haven't really been paying attention up until now. I'm thinking because the emperor was talking about kind of the head of the operation, maybe it's referring to the mother. So if we choose the emperor, maybe we'll get to learn something about her or maybe a decision she'll do. So let's try to do that. Hopefully I'm right. If not, then sucks to suck. Oh. Okay, the old dude dies. Go. You still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. All right. Still got time. Hopefully nobody dies because of that mistake. All right, that was chapter eight of the quarry. Looks like my idea of the card showing some type of relationship to the vision the old lady shows me isn't exactly correct. I mean, I the old dude is running this whole show, but I just don't see that as a possibility. If that is the future that ends up happening, I mean, I don't really care that much. Like I said, my one and only goal really was just get as many counselors out safe that I could. So these other people I don't even care about. Hopefully the next chapter we get the opportunity to still save Ryan and Laura. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next chapter. Peace.